Hello children, in this lesson we shall learn about decimal multiplication. Before we took decimal multiplication, let's take a simple problem without decimal. Let's say there are 4 baskets and each basket has 5 hands in it. 1, 2, 3, 4 baskets and each basket has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hands in it. And we need to find out how many total hands are there. What do we do? As we saw in our last lesson, we do multiplication. 4 baskets multiply by 5 hands in each basket is equal to 20 hands. So we do multiplication here, right? The simple multiplication without decimal point, right? That's the use of multiplication. If somebody wrote 4 multiply by 0 0.5, what does that mean? Hmm? Is it same as 4 times 5? No, 4 multiplied by 0 0.5 is not same as 4 times 5. Then what it is? Let's try to find out. What is 0 0.5? 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is 5 by 10 or 5 parts out of 10 parts. So 4 multiply 0 0.5 is nothing but 4 multiplied by 5 by 10 or we can say it's 5 by 10 parts of 4 understood 0 0.5 is equal to 5 by 10 so 4 multiplied by 0 0.5 is nothing but 4 multiplied by 5 by 10 that is equal to 5 by 10 parts of 4 got it so decimal multiplication is nothing but it's a simple way to find fraction part of a collection 5 by 10 parts of 4 like that example so let's see how we want to do this multiplication let's take an example you had a 300 milliliter of a cold drink bottle and your friend a good friend gave you half bottle of cold drink more so you had 300 milliliter of cold drink bottle and your friend gave you half bottle of cold drink more half bottle okay and you need to find out how much cold drink do you have now how many milliliter of cold drink now you have a 300 milliliter bottle as well as half of the 300 milliliter bottle so how do we do it a full thing is denoted by one so a full bottle is one make sense and how do we denote half bottle let's try to find out we know Decimal fractions have 10, 100, 1000 as denominator, right? So when a full object is divided into tens or hundreds or thousands, when expressing its fraction, we use the decimal. Something like this, 5 by 10th. 5 by 10 is nothing but 10th part, right? So this is 1 by 10 is 10th part. 5 by 10 is 5 parts of 1 by 10 each 6 by 100 is this is 100 1 by 100 part and you are taking six such parts 24 by 1000 really means is if something is divided into 1000 parts each you're taking 24 such small small parts this is thousandth make sense so now let's come back to our bottle let's say we divide this bottle into tenths so half bottle is nothing but 5 by 10 parts how did i arrive with this 5 by 10 is nothing but same as half right 5 divided by 10 is 1 by 2 so half bottle is nothing but 5 by 10 parts or if the bottle is divided into tens you're taking five parts of it suppose this is divided into 10 parts one part, two part, three part, four part, five part, six part, seven part, eight part, nine part, ten part. You're dividing into ten parts. So half bottle is taking five by ten parts. This is one half. This is another half. Make sense? So if we half bottle of cold drink is nothing but 300 milliliter multiplied by five by ten or 300 milliliter multiply by 0 0.5 make sense so now coming back to our original problem you had a full bottle that is 300 milliliter and you got half 
bottle more that is 0.5 bottle more so now you have 1 plus 0.5 so you have 1.5 bottles and if we need to find out how much total milliliter you have how we are going to do it one bottle has 300 in milliliter so 1.5 bottle has how many milliliters so we are going to do multiplication 300 multiplied by 1.5 remember what we did we had one bottle and a half bottle so we said half is nothing but by 5 by 10 so 1.5 so 1 plus half is 1.5 and in terms of milliliter one bottle was 300 milliliters so the total we have is 300 multiplied by 1.5 milliliter let's try to find out and this is what is decimal multiplication and how are we going to do 300 multiplied by 1.5 let's keep decimal point for a moment separate let's first do 300 multiplied by 15 that is easy that we learned in our last video how to do it we are going to put 300 multiply by 15 and then we are going to take the first digit of the multiplier multiply it with the entire multiplicand like this then we put a cross sign on the first byte and then we take the second digit the of multiplier and then again multiply with the multiplicand then we add everything so we get 4500 or 4500 here so when we did 300 multiplied by 15 that is without using the decimal point we got the product as 4500 and now comes the question where should we put the decimal point so remember very simple thing number of decimal places in the result will be a sum of number of decimal places in multiplicand in this case it was 300 and 300 didn't have any decimal places so 0 plus number of decimal places in multiplier and we knew the multiplier was 1.5 how many decimal places are there in this after decimal there is one digit so there is one decimal place right so 0 plus 1 so finally you have number of decimal places in the result will be 1 so our answer was 4500 it should actually be we are going to put a decimal point before one digit from the right because number of decimal places in multiplicand plus number of place decimal places in multiplier is equal to one so when we did a multiplication without decimal point we got 4500 but actual answer should be 450.0 and where, why did we place point here not here or not here or not here because we know we need the number of decimal places in result by this formula which is how many decimal places you have it in multiplicand add it with the number of decimal places in multiplier 300 no decimal places 1.5 1 decimal place 1.5 right after decimal place you have one digit so total number of decimal places in the result will be 1 0 plus 1 is 1 so start from right and you move one place and you put the decimal point so your answer is you have 450 milliliter of cold drink now with you 4500 we got the product as multiplying 300 by 15 without the decimal point and then we put the decimal point one digit from the right so the answer is 450 milliliter simple to reiterate where to put the decimal point the number of decimal places in the result will be number of decimal places in multiplicand plus number of decimal places in multiplier let's take another problem let's say Aman required 4 meters of fabric few years ago to make his pants. But now Aman has grown taller. He requires 1.25 times more fabric. So how much fabric is going to require? We are going to do multiplication to find it. 4 meters was previous fabric requirement and now he requires 1.25 five times of four meters so let's do the multiplication so the length of fabric now is four meter multiplied by one 
0.25 so let's do it we are going to follow the same rule assume there is no decimal point and we are going to do instead of 1.25 we are going to do a 125 and multiply by 4 that's simple 4 5 is a 20 let's do the simple thing and finally the answer is 500 right I'm assuming you can do 125 multiply by 4 so what we did in step 1 is instead of 1.25 we did a multiplication without the decimal point and now we know how many decimal places will be there in the result we add the decimal places in the multiplier and the multiplicand we know 1.25 has two decimal places there are two digits after the decimal point 1.25 right so 2 and 4 had no uh, decimal place so 2 plus 0 is equal to 2 so the number of decimal places in the result is or in the product is 2 so what we are going to do we are going to add two decimal places that is there should be two digits after the point so the product we got by multiplying 125 by 4 is 500 so we are going to place a decimal point where should we place it here here or here remember you need to place a decimal point at a place such that there are two digits after the decimal point either you can place it here like this because we now know there are two digits or a simple way to do it you can start from the rightmost digit and go till two digits and place a decimal point before it so if you count from here you place a digit before it if you go this way you place a decimal digits at a point where there are two digits after it it's the same thing so 500 became 5.00 two digits should be there after the decimal point so 4 multiplied by 1.25 is equal to 5.00 Makes sense. So Aman now needs five a meter of fabric for his pants. Now Aman has grown taller. Okay. Let's take another problem. Let's say we want to do 0 0.31 multiply by 0 0.12. How we are going to do it? Very similar. Just forget the decimal point. We are going to do it in the second step. First, we are going to do 31 multiply by 12. So 31 multiplied by 12 we write like this and then as we learnt in our two digit multiplication case we we'll take the each digit from here multiply like this and we get the answer 372 and now we are going to do, do the second step which is we are going to place the decimal point and how we are going to do that let's find out how many decimal places we need in results so in the multiplicand there were two decimal places that is there are two digits after the decimal point so is in the multiplier so in the results how many decimal places will be there 2 plus 2 2 from here 2 from here 4 decimal places will be there in the result so what we are going to do 4 decimal places means we need to put 4 a decimal points such that there are 4 digits from the right and how we are going to do it? there are only 3 digits here if you put decimal point here also it's going to have only 3 digits to the right so what do we do we'll know that anything we add a zero before it is same so what we are going to do is we are going to add a zero before three and then add a decimal point so we add a zero here and then we can add now we have four digits so and now we can add a decimal point because there were two plus two four digits we need after the decimal point in the result but with the result we got only three digits so we add a zero before three not after it before three and then we put a place a decimal point such that there are one two three four digits here right so the answer is point or you can say 0 0.0372 0 0.31 multiplied by 0 0.12 is 0 0.0372 right so that is all for today children bye bye